Hello Internet, Big Dave here and I am cheap. How cheap? Well, I'm so cheap that I paid... Ugh, this is another tough one. I got Nimbus as part of the Indie Royale launch bundle. I hope you all saw my video over on TGN informing the world of the Indie Royale bundle system. If you haven't, head over to TGN, that is youtube.com slash TGN, and look for the game news show. It's featured as part of that show. So I paid $15 for the launch bundle, which consisted of Ares, Extinction Agenda, Gemini Ru, Sanctum, and Nimbus. So I paid significantly less for Nimbus than its $10 sticker price. How much? Math. We don't get along. Nimbus. It is an intriguing little puzzle race game. It looks absolutely spectacular. I mean, this game may be a steaming pile of shit when I play it, but it looks so charming and entertaining that I would be severely let down if it was. So, it is made by a Swedish developer, no, Nomenon, no, Nomenon, N-O-U-M-E-N-O-N, Nomenon, Nomenon, Nomenon. Anyhow, Nimbus appears to be the only game that they've made. Uh, they do seem to be very attentive to this game. They've, they've been uh, doing a lot to expand it, to patch it, to port it over to uh, different systems and different uh, platforms. So it really seems to be their baby. We're going to take a look at it right now. I've just briefly dipped my toe in it just to kind of make sure my controls were working. I am using the controller, the Xbox controller. Um, that's rough. You know, I, I used to be a dedicated and hardcore console gamer for many a year, and uh, yeah, I really feel a little bit uncomfortable holding a controller anymore these days because I'm such a PC gamer. So at the top, I see we have 0 slash 68. I don't know if that's to indicate there are 68 levels or 68 secrets to find or so forth and so on. It says control to customize ship. Now, I'm using the controller, but uh, yeah, it would appear that I still may need something more. There's Mr. Light Jimmy letting me know that DC Universe Online is free to play on Steam. I hope you know that as well. I will be doing a video on it at some point in the near future. And Mr. Light Jimmy telling me all about it. Fantastic. All right, don't really see what's going on here. Don't understand how to customize. It appears we may only have one, uh, one ship option. So, uh, all right, cool. Uh, looks like this is an overhead map, sort of uh, Mario World-esque. Oh, huh? a little what? Oh, good lord. Okay. What a jerk. Oh. What a jerk eyeball that was. So it's the classic beginning to a... <laughs> to any good story. Happy little entity is happy because he's with happy entity of the opposite sex. Mean old entity comes along and takes the opposite sex entity, and now adventure must ensue. So you'll see I've played this just one time just to get the control scheme down. We'll pop in, we'll take a look at it, and we will figure out what Nimbus is all about. And here we go. All right, I'm, it, again, it's displaying the keyboard controls, but I'm going to just resist that urge, and I am going to stick with it. Again, my good pal, Mr. Light Jimmy. A little chat about DC Universe and our future plans to play it together. Okay, here we go. Controls seem to be reversed. I'm not really sure if that's my controller or what. Well, that was a very simple level. Now, from what I understand of uh, reading a little bit about this game, you don't have any way to propel yourself. You're dependent upon the propulsion uh, that you can pick up around the level, like this right here. Uh, okay, so... How do we... I'm going to try the A button. Hey, it worked. Okay, and then... Oh, hey, little box man! Oh, you're just the cutest thing I think I've ever seen. Okay.
Oh, just enough to get over here. Okay, and then... Oh, there's a big old coin, so that must be... Okay, so that must represent... Uh, that zero of 68 must represent the coins, the, the secret coins that uh, are peppered throughout the levels. So far, very interesting game concept. Like I said, I'm a little murky on the controls here. I'm going to try it just for a moment with the keyboard. Huh, okay. I'm going to go back to the controller here. Huh, okay. I think I'm kind of starting to, to understand how the, how the uh, controls work break. Okay. Okay, so break is not B. B restarted the entire level. Okay, break is X. Got it. Understood. Okay. Sort of squirt some little air out there. Whoa, okay, I can see why I needed to break, but now I'm going to die. Oh, I see. Oh, wow. Okay, so I'm starting to get a feel for the game. I mean, it's very much about momentum and uh, making sure not to screw up massively like I almost did. Okay, here we go, here we go. Yeah, the controls are, are whoa, are becoming a bit more intuitive now. They feel certainly a bit more intuitive now. Are those pushing wind? Oh, that's kind of cool. Ah, uh, I can't. I want up there. Okay, well, I got to the goal. It's all the same. So far, I'm really enjoying the dynamics of this game, the way that it works, the, the system. This is a good little sort of non-tutorial tutorial. I mean, they're getting me into the systems of the game, letting me sort of just figure it out on my own which I think is pre pretty cool. Um, all right, let's try that again. Apparently I cannot quite reach that. I guess I must use this one to propel myself. There we go. I see some kind of arrow. Okay. All right, bit of trial and error here. That's okay. A little trial and error never hurt anyone. Uh, which is is not true. I'm sure it's hurt someone before. In fact, I have almost no doubt that trial and error has hurt or killed or maimed many a person. But in the context of this show and this game, it won't hurt us one bit. So here we go. More, more, more Nimbus. Nimbus, Nimbus, Nimbus. So again, uh, the Indie Royale bundle system. Oh, it's a bouncy pad. Uh, I'm looking forward to following the progress of this system. Um, it is going to release a bundle every two weeks, and then that bundle will be available for five days. Uh, so what that will mean is you will have five days of bundle, nine days of no bundle, and you will go on from there. And there will be another bundle in another nine days at the end of the you know, so forth and so on. If you go to IndieRoyale.com, that's Royale with an E, like a Royale with cheese, you'll be able to see more information on the Indie Royale bundle system. Uh, it looks pretty promising. They do have a, uh, a very interesting bundle coming up in a couple of uh, weeks. Not the next bundle, but the next bundle. So I guess that would be about three weeks away as we stand here. It's uh, the mega bundle or the huge bundle, and it seems like it's going to have a whole heck of a lot of games. Now, the Indie Royale system does have an interesting pricing scheme. I'm not going to focus on talking about that here because, again, this video is about Nimbus, but you should head over to TGN, that's youtube.com slash TGN, and watch my video explaining the Indie Royale. I should have that video favorited, so if you look at my favorites here on the channel, you should see it. It's also in my TGN playlist. Okay. Uh-oh. All right. I needed to be a little more deliberate with my moves. So I really like the I really like the way this game moves. I love the graphic style. It's just it, it looks like someone took a lot of care um, in making this game, and I think that's really special. Um, oftentimes, games feel rushed. Uh, it feels like someone was literally just trying to get it, get the game out, um, get it done, uh, and I think that that's. You know, that's going to happen uh, at a certain point when you've been working on a game for years. 
Um, I can I can understand that uh, it might. And I exploded. Okay, so I'm trying to figure out how am I supposed to do this? Oh, there's a okay. There's a bounce pad over. I see. Again, the trial and error. Oh, we just cleared it. Very nice. Okay. So that's cool. Yeah. Again, we're talking. Whoa. <laughs> Too much talking. Not enough. Not dying. There we go. So I'm doing. I'm. I'm burning up the scoreboards. Fifteen thousandth and twenty-third uh, place that time. Just doing absolutely fantastic. Uh, yeah. World one eight. It's nighttime now. So yeah, Nimbus. What do you guys think? Uh, if you have played Nimbus or if you grabbed Nimbus in the bundle, oh, we got a key up here, in the launch bundle, let me know about it. Uh, I really would love it if you guys would get a bit more interactive. Not that you uh, not that you disappoint me with the level of interactivity that you have. I love when you guys comment on my videos, like, favorite, and ooh, that didn't work too well. And all that business. I mean, that's great. I absolutely love it. Um, but I wouldn't mind if we got a little more conversational. I mean, if you've played the game uh, that I am showing you, tell me about it. If you go off and you buy the game after you've uh, watched me play it, let me know about that too. Whoa, okay. There we go. Again, I mean, you know, I, I do this YouTube thing as a, as a fun hobby. Uh, I, I'm making a smidgen of money with TGN uh, as of probably tomorrow, uh, but that really doesn't matter to me. I mean, that's why even though I could make more money by putting all my videos on TGN channels, I don't. I'm, I've committed myself uh, to put two videos plus a weekend roundup on this channel every week, and I make absolutely nothing off those, and uh, I'm glad that you guys watch them, uh, but I do have a bigger audience available to me over on TGN as well as the ability to make money, but I respect you guys, uh, my subscribers here on this channel, uh, a lot more than to just abandon you. So uh, I appreciate everything that you've done for me, just being sort of here and uh, propelling me to the place that... Oh, that's interesting. Uh, I don't want to... Okay. Okay. So I'm getting a little bit better at the controls of the, of the, of the contraption. I don't know what I am. Oh, this is going to be a tough one. Oh, Lord. And that's something that I'm starting to understand. A lot of times the momentum... Um, oh, wh what? Oh, there we go. Okay, that's like a... Okay, so these little... Okay, those little gold patches make it a one-way trip. Well, no, the arrows make it a one-way trip. I don't know what the gold patches do. But I got a coin, huh? I got a coin. I'm sure I su I'm supposed to have gotten one on every level by now. But Oh, there's the goal. Well, that's really cool. Uh, wait, 10,000? I just knocked like 4,000 places off of my performance. Look at that. So, guys, we're doing pretty... Ooh, new trial unlocked. Uh, and you'll notice at the top I have one of 68 special golden super coins or whatever they're going to call them in this game. So, uh... Yeah, let's play a couple more levels and we'll go ahead and call it quits for Nimbus. Here we go. Oh. I guess I would actually need the red key. That makes sense. Yeah, I really do enjoy this game. I'm liking the controls. Uh, I'm liking the way it feels with the controller. And there's definitely a, a unique sense of momentum. You can actually kind of make some momentum for yourself if you do little sort of dips and things like that. You see how I'm going faster and faster and faster? I think that's a really, really nice mechanic. Um, giving you that ability to sort of... Uh, ooh. Okay. All right. Uh, giving you that ability, like I said, to create some of your own momentum when you need to. Uh, so you're not always depending exclusively on stuff. Sometimes you can build your own momentum. See, so like, I need some momentum right there, but I don't have it. So, yeah, so I can use this. Uh, and I'm talking about this game like I'm an expert all of a sudden. So I can use this to go high, and then I can swoop down 
and I can try to build some momentum as I come down and you know fail miserably at doing that let's just hit this let's hit this little oh I'm getting all sorts of sparklies around me okay you see all that speed I picked up boom just like that that's what I was trying to demonstrate just a second ago, but failing miserably at it. Um, but yeah, that, like that is so cool. I mean, the momentum, uh, the momentum factor. I like games that use momentum. I like games that use uh, make you use your brain. You know, you got to think a little bit about the game. How does this? How, how am I supposed to do this? How does this work? Uh, and I like that already in the game. We're not even out of world number one yet. The game is giving us interesting challenges. You know, it's saying, look, you've got to you got to learn how to do this because you're going to need this later in the game. Well, I don't know that for a fact, but you know, I have no doubt. Oh, does this one have an alternate exit? I can't tell. That would be so cool if it did. This is very, the, the structure of the map and everything, very reminiscent of some old school Mario World stuff. Super Mario Brothers 3. And yeah, you can kind of do this little sort of up and down motion to keep your momentum going. And I think like I said, it's a tutorial without being a tutorial, and that's really what it feels like. It feels like they're trying to teach me these concepts without bashing me over the head with it. I mean, they didn't tell me about this particular mechanic, this little swooping mechanic. It's just something that I figured out as I went. And I'm dead. <laughs> it's I'm, I'm all proud of myself. Oh, it's something I figured out as I went, and boom, just like that, I'm dead. Okay, so let's try this. Let's try getting a bit of a more powerful boost. Or let's just fail miserably at that. Don't you love it in these videos when I say, Hey, let's try this thing, and then I'm just, boom, dead. Okay, so I think, again, the key is just sort of a gentle sort of a wave and then when you can you can grab a little bit of extra propulsion oh this is tough I, this is like the almost the exact same place as before oh yeah a little bit of a sense of accomplishment there damn I like that you know, a lot of times with these games, you don't get that. I mean, when, when a game is a puzzle game, but the puzzle is really, uh, really simple. Well, and of course, you know, puzzles, they get harder as you move through the levels. But uh, that was pretty cool. And like I said, I feel like I'm learning. Wow, that was really crappy. Uh, I feel like I'm learning as I'm going. I'm teaching myself these mechanics uh, without the game actually bashing me in the head with them. And, uh, whoa, is that some kind of a laser? Is that a laser? It appears to be a laser. I'm not going to tempt it. Is that a laser? I'm going to assume it's a laser. Doesn't it look like a laser, ladies and gentlemen? Can I say laser one more time? Laser. Is that a laser? All right, so Nimbus. I think Nimbus is a damn entertaining little gem of a game. I really, really am enjoying myself though I am dying many a time. I'm really, really enjoying myself. Um, I really am finding this an interesting game to learn. And I know I've commented on it several times, but I'm loving the way that they're teaching me to play this game. They're letting me learn on my own. And, you know, that's so refreshing. I mean, I, that's the only word I can think of for it. Um, it's so refreshing that this game didn't handhold me uh, through some kind of complex tutorial and it just threw me out there and it said here you are you're a little spaceship airplane man and you've lost your opposite sex spaceship airplane man and you need to get him or her or it back and you need to figure out how and i love it i love that it's it's let me do this on my own it's let me make my own mistakes uh, there's not a lot of punishment for death, and that's okay in a game like this, uh, because it is the sort of game that, that uh, thrives on trial and error. So I really like Nimbus. I'm really enjoying it. I don't know how much replayability it has. Of course, you have the uh, of course you have the draw of the complete for the completionist, the gold coins, which definitely seem to be a bit more difficult to get to. So uh, you know, all in all, Nimbus, I'm gonna give this thing a five out of five. I mean, I have to. How can I not give it a five out of five? It's a fantastic game. I would 
would pay $10 for this game. Um, if I could right now, I would go back and pay more for the Indie Royale launch bundle. All right, guys, I have been Big Dave. This has been Nimbus. I have been thoroughly entertained. I hope you have. All right, until next time, take it easy.